Hello and welcome to Dubai This Week. I'm Michal Dibon. We're at Itihad's training academy here in Abu Dhabi, and one of their senior pilots, Captain Abdallah, is going to teach me how to fly. Let's go. We're about to go on one of the Boeing 787 simulators. Thanks for having us today. Welcome, Michal. So, Captain, how often do pilots have to train? Normally every six months they have to come once for their proficiency check. Tell us about it. What kind of scenarios? How long does it last? Well, it's all kind of scenarios you should expect. And, uh, of course, it's, uh, they're not supposed to know about it. They come here and they handle any situation we give them, any emergency we give them. They're supposed to know how to handle it. Are there any moments where you as a pilot get nervous? You shouldn't. Actually, I'm more scared driving my car than flying the aircraft. Yeah. What do pilots do to prepare themselves for different types of weather and climates? Well, we give them all the kind of uh, weather, rain, uh, snow, uh, all kind of weather. Because here in Abu Dhabi, normally it's dry, there's no rain. Uh, only to train them on a weather like Abu Dhabi, that might surprise them when they go out of Abu Dhabi. So what we do in the simulator, we give them different airports and we give them different kind of weather. So they are ready for any kind of weather they meet during their career. Captain, you're one of the first Emirati pilots at Itihad. You've come a very long way as an airline. I know recently you've promoted many first officers to captains. When I joined Itihad in 2005, uh, I was one of the few Emiratis on this airline. And uh, with the program the government uh, provided to the uh, airline for the uh, increasing the number of Emirati pilots, now I uh, can say thanks God we are more than 300 pilots in Etihad Airways. Recently, uh, we promoted uh, more than 10 pilots. I'm talking about like within one month, more than 10 first officers to a captain. So how many years do you have to be a first officer before you can qualify to be a captain? To be a captain, you need to collect hours of 5,500 to be uh, eligible to go for the captain position. But before that, you have to go through a lot of exams uh, having the hours doesn't mean you can make it so uh, i would say uh, it's a long way to be a captain and it's tough actually it's tough be sure that the pilot when he moved to the left seat he only moved after being through a lot of tests and exams okay i'm ready to start my training today then let's go you're going to teach me how to fly yes i will let's go Welcome to the 787 simulator. I have prepared everything for you, for your flight. You're gonna fly around Abu Dhabi at a low altitude. Your flight is gonna last one hour. Enjoy your flight. We're in the Boeing 787 simulator and Captain Abdallah is going to teach me how to fly today. What are we expecting? We expect to depart out of Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. we maintain 2,000 feet. We fly over the city of Abu Dhabi and come back and land in Abu Dhabi on the three on Easy. That's easy. All right, you ready? Yeti has one, you are clear for takeoff from the three one left. Clear for takeoff from the three one left. Captain, I'm ready for takeoff. Okay, Captain Mehal, let's go. Let's go. We are clear for takeoff. Do we have time to go over some of the yes, controls here? Yes. Okay. This so. one here is the autopilot. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's as I told you the most important one. This one. Yeah. And this is the auto throttle arm switch, which is controlling the auto throttle here. First control it. Whatever speed we put here, whatever power we put here, that's talking to it and it's moving it. If the switch is on. And this you've set up before the flight. This we set up before the flight to what type of power we need, what kind. Sometimes we have three stages of power, different uh, power, 10% less, 20% less. We do all this, of course, on the uh, cockpit setup before we uh, take off. And uh, this switch is here is for navigation, for up and down, navigation, 
lateral navigation, vertical navigation, and uh, speed also. This one. And this one is uh, the heading of the aircraft. So and here it's the same is the as altitude. this. It's same as this. Switching to autopilot. Okay, Captain, gear down, flaps 20. Sure. Gear down, flaps 20. If you add one, you are clear to land the runway 31 left. Clear to land the runway 31 left at the hard one. Okay, Captain Mihal, we are clear to land. Perfect. Flap 30, landing checklist, please. Sure. One thousand. Disconnecting autopilot. Yeah. Five hundred. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Speed brake down. Parking brake set. They deal with all types of scenarios, from emergency landing to fire breaking out on board, extreme weather, and many more. That's why the next time you decide to fly, know that you're in good hands. Michal Divon, Dubai This Week.